Have you heard the good news that Yazidi woman is being rescued from Hamas after 10 years of captivity? That's just so great. After 10 years, now she's free woman. But that should cause us have some concerning questions. Why is Yazidi woman who is being kidnapped by ISIS as a child is under the captivity of Hamas. What is the relationship between Hamas and ISIS? They are all rooted in the same ideology. Hamas is Islam, ISIS Islam, and both of them are simply practicing Islam. Let's hear this good news and then bring up some questions. A Yazidi woman kidnapped by ISIS as a child 10 years ago freed from Gaza captivity. Well, headline is a little bit misleading because actually she was freed from Hamas, not Gaza, Hamas. Hostage forced to marry terrorist at age 11 returns home to Iraq after difficult joint rescue operation. She's not being freed. She's not being freed. She's been rescued. A Yazidi woman who was kidnapped by Islamic State as a child before being sent to Hamas in Gaza has been rescued after more than a decade in captivity. Fawzia Amin Sido was just 11 when she was forced to marry a Palestinian ISIS fighter before being trafficked to Gaza where she faced repeated torture. Miss Sido, originally from Iraq, is now 21 and returned home this week after escaping from Gaza in operation involving the US, Jordan and Iraq. As a child, 11 years old girl, she was kidnapped by ISIS. Do you remember those images where ISIS went into the Yazidi villages and took approximately 7,000 Yazidi women. They murdered the elderly and the ones look like oh yeah we can make money from them or we can use them as sex slaves they kept them remember the marketplace where we've seen in isis magazines price of a yazidi girl if she was virgin it was expensive seven thousand yazidi women were taken by isis and today isis or Apparently, maybe friends of ISIS has over 2,500 Yazidi girls. They are still missing. They are being kept in somewhere. But Fawzia Amin Sido was only 11 years old when she was taken as a slave by ISIS. She was sold from one Muslim man to another Muslim man. And individuals who did their business was not much different than individuals like Shamima Begum who was keeping the book for them. And Telegraph article says she was forced to marry a Palestinian ISIS fighter. What it is these Palestinians are doing in Iraq under the ISIS flag? Think about it. What is it they are doing? And she was being trafficked to Gaza where she faced repeatedly torture. Whole 10 years. But this week, she's freed woman. She went in there as a child who was probably playing with the dolls at that stage before they were taken. And she returns as a woman who is being tortured, abused, raped, and went through lots of other things. As I said, good news is she's free now. As Israel is striking Hamas, that allowed Misido to escape from the captivity and hide elsewhere before she is being rescued. The young girl was extracted from Gaza Strip in recent days in a secret operation through the Kerem Shalom crossing. After crossing into Israel, she was taken to Jordan, then taken to her family in Iraq. Her physical conditions are good but she's suffering from intense trauma after spending 10 years in captivity and witnessing the 
dire humanitarian situations. Her life was being occupied for 10 years by ISIS and Hamas. Terrorist organizations like ISIS and Hamas occupied life of a child for 10 years. Abused a child for 10 years. Seems they are very good at it. Another interesting thing is she's not being rescued by journalists who are screaming out rights of Hamas. She's not rescued by those TV faces who are screaming out for the rights of Hamas. She's not being rescued by millions who walked in the center London and called the genocide of Jews. She's not rescued by pro-Hamas supporters. She's not even being rescued by Muslim scholars or experts. She's being rescued by a Jewish Canadian man who devoted all of his life to rescue the Yazidis who has been held captivity. While pro-Hamas supporters are simply taking over the streets, a Canadian Jews man actively takes part of rescuing Yazidi woman. He expresses this was the one of the most difficult rescue operation he's been involved. Telegraph newspaper states that more than 6,000 Yazidis were captured by ISIS in Sinjar in Iraq in 2014. Many were sold into slavery or trained as a child soldiers and taken across borders including Turkey and Syria. Over the years, more than 3,500 have been rescued, yet around 2,600 still missing. Today, still 2,600 Yazidis are missing. So, they were taken by ISIS in Iraq, in Sinjar. And now, after 10 years, woman is being rescued in Gaza. Hmm. How did she got there? How come ISIS is simply passing around their own hostages to another groups? What is the relationship between Hamas and ISIS? While you think about it and some of you might be thinking, well, we need Einstein to come and then help us to figure out. I'll tell you something. What happened to Faiza Amin Sido? is just another evidence that there is a strong connection between Hamas and ISIS. Hamas is a terrorist organization. ISIS is terrorist organization. Both of them are given to us by Islam. Hamas is Islam. ISIS is Islam. And now individuals are dealing with the fruit of Islam and fruit of Islam is simply destroying, kidnapping and murdering. No one needs to call Einstein to get answer what is the connection between them. Positive part is even if the hostages is being rescued after 10 years, there is still hope for 2600 Yazidi hostages who are missing as well as there is still 101 Israeli hostages held by Hamas. 101 lives are being still occupied by Hamas. Dear terrorist supporters, dear useful idiots for the terrorists, just make the call to your terrorist friends and then tell them to free the hostages.